If you have inserted this door or window, I'm going to show you how possibly you can add the lintel for the same. Uh, if you check the section, already you have noticed that above the window or door, there's no lintel as such by default added. So let's see how I can add this. You can even select the window right now uh, from the section also because right, just a basic editing or the method which I want to explain. Later you can even select all of them in one go from your flow plan and you can do that. Uh, anyway, now here in this particular window selection settings dialog, you can check out that if you just travel and check out in the rollout, when you click on this big button, you'll get all the available pages which are uh, valid for editing of this window. So there's one page known as a masonry arc. So masonry arc is the page which you can uh, select and then you can click on this option to activate this. You will see that this kind of presentation is by default shown. Now there will be different possibilities that masonry is a straight arc or you want to work for jack arc and uh, other options are available. So I'll just continue with the straight arch itself. So there's no kind of a curve one and uh, the type you can have a stucco arch or a brick arch. So I'll go for the stucco that is a concrete by default and then you have to specify the size overall. So you just check out masonry arc depth and masonry arc uh, height. So I will go for this uh, as uh, my wall is 230. So I'll go for this as a 230. And height probably I will say uh, same 230 for a while. Now remember, this is nothing but you just adding the lintel, not the chajja along with that. That is weather shade projection. So that you can, uh, but uh, either of that you can do it over here. I'll show you how we can use the same one if in case you want to generate the weather shade but not the uh, lintel then because if the size of the lintel and the weather shade thickness if they are different you cannot do that from here. Um, anyway now arch on the header that is exactly where my uh, window ends uh, from there itself my arch starts that is lintel starts. So if you remove this you have a choice of uh, pushing this up uh, above the window also. So I won't go for this and then the projections on either side of the window. Okay, so over and from the left or right. I will go for this as a 150 on both the sides. That is 6 inches probably you can see. Uh, now the finishing part. What kind of a surface you would like to go and see for this. So you can even try to go for the uh, next row, uh, page or you can even use this previous and next option also. Now here I can see brick uh, running board was the uh, brick surface. Uh, okay, so for that you can choose what are the color or kind of a surface you want to go for. For a while just to isolate this, I will choose some particular different surface. Uh, but otherwise you should remember that it can be as per your, uh, what you can see, construction material also related to that. Now it is shown that uh, 3D and section uncut lines, you can have that particular option. And uh, apart from this, you can also remember that uh, when you go and try to work with this uh, last option that is flow plan and section rollout and here if you just scroll and just go ahead at the bottom level you, here you can see the masonry arc and if it is supposed to be in the floor plan and section group how it should appear because model was nothing but the external appearance uh, what about the section when i pass the section what kind of hatch pattern are the construction material altogether i can see so I will say that by default it says that field which is supposed to be a section field type is a background which I am not uh, willing to continue. Instead of that I will say it should be uh, somewhere like um, uh, say your uh, structural concrete. So I will just select this one and then the pen number. So obviously right now both the pens are white so that is of no use. Uh, uh, this is my section pen that is nothing but my hatch lines uh, that they will go with some kind of a 0.13. That is a black color which I have chosen and the background is fine, that's not an issue that let it be as per the screen color or you can have this choice also that use the window background also. So that is solely your choice. Now almost you have done. So just say okay and you will see the improvement. So moment I, uh, you just try to go and say okay for this. Moment you say okay, you will see how this thing works. Okay, uh, this is how my lintel got added.
Now, if you want to fine tune this window for its uh, placement uh, with respect to wall thickness, that means uh, it is exactly right now flushing on the outer side. You know it very well. You can uh, play with this revel to wall core. So, if I say uh, 50 millimeter offset, you can see how it works. Okay. Um, and if you go inside your floor plan, there won't be any change because this is above the uh, cut plane. So, that's not going to make any difference. But surely in your 3D presentation, you can notice this that this is what the end product is going to look like. Uh, so, I hope you have understood uh, how to manage this. Now, what about the chajja? In case if I am going to willing to add this similar thing for the uh, chajja, uh, let's talk about that then. Uh, so, I am just going to do the same task. So, no other uh, variations apart from just a uh, few simple things. So, my masonry arc is activated. Uh, the overall, uh, see this uh, depth this time, uh, 230 and 600, that is my projection, 600 and 230. So that is supposed to be uh, nothing but 830, correct? Uh, you can see how it looks now. And at the most, uh, I can say 150 as my, uh, this uh, overall thickness, if I want, or even 100 will do because it's just a simple chajja. Now remember, again as I am telling, I cannot generate both the things together. Uh, and the another issue is that if in case your chajja projection is not on the uh, right side, that is uh, if the projection is not coming on the required direction, maybe the chajja is shown inside the uh, room, then you can use the uh, option of uh, here as a uh, rare hole depth. So, the offset you can uh, try to use also uh, and uh, even you can use the masonry arc uh, projection which is also there, that also you can find you. So, uh, just play with these values and get the desired effect. I am just going to again continue for 150 on either side. So, my uh, anchor age will be also considered and then uh, as usual, uh, the surface you can treat with some required color. And uh, after that, uh, again, the uh, important thing is going back to the floor plan and section as your uh, this rollout. And here in the same group, uh, I should try to use uh, similar logic of my structural concrete and then uh, some pen number, which is my hatch line pen. And the background, I normally prefer to keep this as a window uh, color, that is whatever you have the current window color, the same color will get utilized. So that's it. I can see okay for this and now here again the same story. Again if you want to push this window slightly on the uh, inside uh, that is the revel upset, you can go for the revel to a wall a core and this is what is supposed to be the end product. Uh, my chajja I should check with my section 2. Uh, remember it may be not the correct one the way you are now facing the problem. Okay. So this is actually projecting inside. So how I can solve this? A very simple task again. Just select this and uh, you can just go back to your um, this uh, uh, masonry arc option and here you can just play with this. I'll just say minus 600. Okay, so you can see uh, how it is. Okay, so minus 600 is actually pushing you a lot away. So I'll just go and try to say uh, 600. So that will be better. Uh, correct. So now this is uh, uh, appropriate one, the way I was expecting. Uh, uh, see out of this uh, 830, 600 was uh, uh, the offset which we can see. I'll just say okay for this and you will see how this all together is working. You can even go and check now the thing in 3D. So just back over here and you will realize that your window with the lintel or chajja, either of that can be get managed. Then you will say what about this one? I will suggest that you can just drop a simple slab for this. So at the most what will happen, you should go and try to uh, generate a separate layer for this. So you can say whether shade or chajja as a new layer. Okay, uh, actually you can have the layer of chajja and loft together because that can be also helpful. Right now I will just keep this as it is, later we can rename this also. So I'm just going to say okay for this and uh, my slab settings I have to adjust accordingly. My slab will be 100 millimeter thickness uh, reinforced concrete structure. I'll accept that. 
and this will be from the current story uh, my slab remember either you have to work with a slab top or slab bottom i'll work with the slab bottom and i'll say that this will be at 2100 correct okay and then i'll just place this by saying okay only thing i have to select the required layer correct and then uh, i just uh, let's place this first of all uh make sure it this will be exactly 1500 and uh, plus 300 to be honest because 150 150 on either side so uh, i'll go for uh, 1800 as my uh, first direction second will be 600 and once it is placed now remember it do have some kind of a covering on so i'll just remove that because of because that's of no use at present for me so cover fill i'll remove I'll just say okay for this again. Once I say okay, I'll just put Control D, and uh, I will try to drag this by say one fifty. Um, that's it. Now, uh, of course, if you say that I don't want to show the lines as a firm lines, this has to be above the cutting plane presentation. So just go and select this, and uh, here you can see uh, that my outlines. for this slab uh, it should be uncut lines as instead of solid i will say it can be dashed and that's it you can see okay for this so this is how it can be get displayed uh, you can open the section see the right placement okay so now the surface uh, both the uh, this uh, construction materials are same that is uh, reinforced concrete reinforced concrete so uniformity will be there only thing the layer variations in the color just because that has the different pen number so later you can fine tune that also so not an issue so this is what one method i can see and the other which i have showed is nothing but in that case again remember uh, uh, so if you follow the uh, second option that is this particular window where the chhaja projection is not shown as such uh, but it is there in that case the lintel you have to add manually so if i open my uh, second roll out also i'll say open in new tab this time so there will be two separate uh, things so here i have to add my uh, beam as my uh, lintel so remember that uh, whichever is convenient for you you can choose that presentation technique and you can just uh, solve your issue uh, so that's all together to be you can notice about this particular Uh, lintel concept for the door inside or outside wherever it is you want to insert this kind of a lintel you can please activate this masonry arc option